Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video, I'm going to react to the biggest explosions caught on camera. This is going to be insane. I mean, I, I remember there was an explosion, I think it was in uh, the Middle East somewhere. I think it was a chemical plant and it looked, it looked almost fake when I first saw it because you could see the shock wave and then the huge kudush. It was just absolutely wild and you know, I think there must have been casualties, must have been absolutely terrible. But I just wondered what other ones have been caught on camera because these explosions are very rare. So for a camera to be recording at the same time, it's even more rare. Should be an interesting video. Let's do it. These explosions literally shook the world. In today's video, we'll be looking at the biggest explosions caught on camera. Some of these happened due to some careless human errors, while some were maliciously oh. planned. Let's get blown away, shall we? Number 10. Beirut Explosion The oh, devastating explosion that happened in Beirut on August 4th, yeah, 2020 claimed the lives of 200 people and injured 5,000 others. The disaster was preceded by a large fire at the port of Beirut on the city's northern Mediterranean coast. In videos posted on social media, white smoke could be seen billowing from Warehouse 12 next to the port's huge grain silos. Mm. At around 6 p.m., that shock wave is incredible. The roof of the warehouse caught fire, and there was a large initial explosion, followed by a series of smaller blasts that some witnesses said sounded like fireworks. What happened next is a mushroom cloud into the air, and a oh supersonic blast God. wave radiated through the city. The blast wave was so huge that it leveled buildings near the port and caused extensive damage across the rest of the capital. Awful. It's believed that as many as 300,000 people had been made temporarily homeless. Hospitals were quickly overwhelmed and the Red Cross declared the explosion a huge catastrophe as there were victims and casualties everywhere. Satellite and aerial images show how warehouses close to the explosion were ripped apart. The damage was blamed on the detonation of 2,750 tons of ammonium nitrate that had been stored unsafely at a warehouse in the port. The blast destroyed the immediate dockside area, creating a crater approximately 140 meters wide, which flooded with seawater. An expert on blast protection engineering stated that this unquestionably was the largest non-nuclear explosion in history, no way. far bigger than any conventional weapon. Losses of more than ten billion dollars were estimated. Number nine. I mean, why is it that you know human negligence often causes you know so much loss of life? If they just put that ammonium nitrate somewhere safe, it wouldn't have happened. New York City house explosion. Three homes in one Brooklyn neighborhood were affected after a fiery explosion blew out their structures. Investigators who responded to the Bath Beach community looked into what exactly sparked the blast that destroyed the homes and rocked neighbors out of their beds. The findings were chilling. The first 9-11 calls reported an explosion and the smell of gas. Emergency officials raced to the burning buildings as giant flames and smoke billowed over the site of the blast. There were no reported casualties. The area's mayor held a joint press conference hours after the explosion oh with city God. agencies to confirm this. He warned of being vigilant to gas smells and immediately called 911. Number 8. Odessa Explosion Russian forces launched missiles on the Black Sea port of Odessa in southern Ukraine, sending up clouds of dark smoke that veiled parts of the city. The UGC video shows the moment the sky was illuminated with the blast early that morning. Firefighters rushed to the area and worked to extinguish the flames, while columns of smoke were seen from different areas of the city, including downtown. The Russian military said the targets were an oil processing plant and fuel depots around Odessa, Ukraine's largest port and home to its navy. Luckily, there were no casualties from the attack. That is very lucky. No casualties. If things keep going the way they are, Odessa will fall to the Russians. Numbers? Awful, awful. And since this has happened, there's probably been countless other explosions, countless other ones. I just don't know how this conflict ends, honestly. I don't know how it ends because Ukraine, they're not going to give up as they shouldn't, you know. Russia, I don't think, barring something absolutely, completely unprecedented, I can't, I can't see Putin pulling out of uh, Ukraine. I just don't know how this ends. 7. Westminster Home Explosion With more homes exploding, this Westminster home wasn't spared 
as it was captured on a Vivint camera. The video was shared with local news broadcasting stations where you could hear a loud boom and then see debris flying across the screen a few seconds into the video. A few seconds later, smoke is spotted in the distance. At least one home was destroyed, and multiple homes received heavy damage. Cars were also not spared during the explosion. On the bright side, there were no casualties reported. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. Wow. Number 6 Maybe a gas leak? Maybe... I'm trying to think what else could have, could have caused that. Maybe some kind of explosive substance was in the house and it, maybe a, a, an ignition went off nearby. Huge explosion at Kharkiv administration building. In the video shared on social media by State Emergency Services of Ukraine, a blast can be seen at the Kharkiv Region State Administration oh, Building on Freedom Square. It's unclear what exactly caused the explosion, but the emergency services said it was from a Russian airstrike. This happened on the eighth day of Russia's invasion. One of the residents was able to shoot this video from a distance of over 100 meters. The moment the missile strikes the administration building, the impact is even felt by the person shooting the video. This video is cataclysmically destructive and shows how the missile comes in and causes a huge explosion. This isn't the first time Kharkiv witnessed such huge explosions. Numerous videos have been surfacing on the internet where explosions and bomb blasts are captured by eyewitnesses. Number 5 Must be frightening living in that, in that area, you know, just seeing that happening around you. Just because I'd be thinking, what's stopping my house being next, you know? Terrifying. West Ghana. The beautiful city of Ghana was faced with a grave incident. The beautiful city of Ghana? Ghana's a country, bro. When a lorry transporting explosives was involved in an accident. This accident marked one of the greatest explosions ever to happen in the country of Ghana. The driver was lucky to escape with his life after jumping out of the moving vehicle after he lost control when an oncoming motorcycle appeared out of the blue. After losing control and crashing Whoa. into a concrete wall, the unstoppable components of the explosions reacted. What followed was a loud thud that left everyone screaming and rushing to whichever place they could take cover. The results of the explosion could be seen from a mile away, and the big crater formed at the heart of the accident. The government had a hard time carrying out a search and rescue mission that dragged on for days due to the delicacy of handling the scene. The government, however, promised to intervene and handle the cost of repairs and hospital bills for all the affected people. Up to today, it's still remembered as a dark day in Ghana. Number 4. Jeez. Oil refining. Literally looked like those buildings had been like shredded, like been through a shredder, like reduced to tiny little scraps of like wood. Mary, Louisiana. Two things that don't mix are oil and fire. What felt like an underground disco in Louisiana Ooh. turned out to be something far worse. The ground started shaking suspiciously before a massive fire broke out, and huge smoke could be seen blowing high. The oil refinery that was causing all this mayhem had exploded and could be seen from miles away from the main town center. Thanks to the oil refinery's emergency measures, they were able to contain the situation before the property was damaged. Luckily enough, no casualties were reported during the incident. Number very three. fortunate, very fortunate, because if there had been any casualties, I'm sure they would have sued, as they should, and, you know, cost that company a lot of money. Lviv. With all that's happening between Russia and Ukraine, it's not a wonder why Lviv is on our list today. Even though it isn't the only place the Russians have opened fire in Ukraine, it houses a military facility making it a target. One morning, news headlines were filled with videos of a bright orange blast so big, it could have eaten up a whole city. There were also lots of fumes and dust causing a great panic among the locals. Fortunately, the defense military spokesperson made a statement to help clear the air about the explosion, claiming that despite the great size of the blast, there were no casualties found. Also, he disputed the claims that Russia had hit the military facility which was a lot of luck for them because there have been rumors that the base was used for experiments similar to nuclear testing. Number 2. Military Facility in Jordan When military operations are involved, you know things are handled with keenness. 
This should always be the case because these folks handle things in a way that if you make even the smallest mistake, anything could go boom in a second. When Mother Nature decides the temperatures will sour up, even the most precise measures made cave under pressure. This is exactly what happened in the military facility in Jordan. As a result of the high temperatures of over 48 degrees Celsius, one of the explosives in storage malfunctioned and exploded. Since there were other explosives that were kept in close proximity, a chain of many other explosions erupted. It was an uncomfortable couple of hours for the residents who lived near the military camp, and they could only watch and anticipate. The fires were so high up, they could reach the sky, and wow. every few minutes another explosion went off, oh and it went on for a while. The sad thing is that this isn't the first incident of such a manner, so we can only hope that the officials are at the forefront of finding a lasting solution to this problem. Jeez. Number one. I mean, yeah, if I lived in that area and I could, I'd be moving away as soon as possible. <sighs> yeah, just get the heck out of there. If it happens often. Tehran. For such a long time, Iran has been struck by a great misfortune of insecurity and a security crisis lasting for almost a decade. After 1998, things looked up for the country as peace was prevailing. One thing that hasn't disappeared after all these years is the effect of all those years of bomb testing. There are still explosions taking place in parts of Iran, such as Tehran. One major explosion was captured on a camera that looked like a big orange sun was coming from the ground up. Just at this time, the sun had a lot of fumes and dust surrounding it. The videos made rounds all over social media, but no explanation was made for what caused the explosion. It led to a lot of rumors surfacing. Some claim there's a new bomb testing site being created because the previous one had seen its last days due to all the damages caused by those nine years of bombing. As far as casualties, there hasn't been any such mention of such, but for such a big blast, we can expect some substantial damages. Mm -hmm, of course. Until next time, adios. Woo. That video was insane. That first one in, um, I think, uh, Beirut, for me is the most, uh, just the most striking because the shockwave and then the blast, just incredible. I mean, 200 people lost their lives because of that thing. Just because the people in charge didn't want to find somewhere suitable to store the uh, ammonium nitrate. You know, laziness or maybe cost saving or corruption, who knows why, but that cost them 200 people. It's just unfortunate. Like, I, it's very, very unfortunate. A lot of these, you know, were a result of gas leaks and stuff like that. Kind of accidental, I guess. But you have to wonder, are there any things that we can do to prevent these things from happening? Or are we just, you know, are, are, are these things just unavoidable? Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.